You have conducted an empirical research about the real necessity of data retention uh, for law enforcement and criminal prevention. Can you tell us about uh, the main findings of this research and do you think that this is strictly t related mm. to German or could also be applied to other countries like Brazil? Um, there again we have to make a difference between traffic data or uh, location data as they um, become available in the process of telecommunication operations yeah, and retained data. And uh, uh, of course um, I think all uh, the criminal justice systems and all intelligence services in this world make use of or are authorized to make use of uh, traffic data which are made available through the operations of telecommunication companies. There is of course a balancing because in case of criminal justice agency it means there must be a suspicion and a certain seriousness of uh, uh, of the criminal offence uh, which allegedly had, had been committed. And in case of security um, agencies, intelligence services, there must be a certain seriousness of risk, terrorism and so on. Um, the, um, uh, the, um, uh, what we see from uh, the use of uh, um, telecommunication traffic data as they are made available by operations, not retained data, but this, uh, uh, what, what your uh, cell phone is now producing, that is, uh, of course, uh, is, uh, stored, that is available, but it's not yet retained. Uh, retained data, that means um, uh, data which are not uh, commercially uh, used anymore, uh, but which are only made available for future law enforcement uh, security related uh, 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 actions. So um, uh, when, when looking at uh, the use of traffic data, telecommunication tra traffic data in law enforcement, law enforcement uh, uh, activities, then we see that um, sometimes traffic data can be useful but in most cases the uh, traffic data are um, um, retrieved from they don't say anything they don't say anything and uh, in the in at the end um, also in those cases the traffic data can be uh, can be uh, introduced in criminal investigations. Uh, traffic data in general do not serve as evidence, only in I I extremely rare cases. Uh, however, in most cases they serve to mm, get some knowledge about who has communicated with whom and is there a possible third suspect. And uh, that uh, then might be might 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 initiate other investigations. When it comes to data retention, the use of retained data, then uh, as an example, we can, for example, we can use uh, to, uh, we can use Germany. Germany um, has a kind of. Uh, 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 now has again uh, data retention, telecommunication uh, retention um, um, uh, statute. Uh, for five years, there was nothing because the federal constitutional court has uh, had vacated uh, the former um, uh, telecommunication retention um, uh, statute. In case of Germany, we know that uh, per year approximately uh, about a couple of thousand retained data are used. Now imagine, uh, in a couple of thousand cases, now imagine how many data are retained. It's uh, approximately, we have uh, currently in Germany uh, 
120 million active cell phones. Yeah. We have uh, uh, at least the same, the same um, a number of uh, um, a computer which can be connected to the internet. We have uh, uh, smartphones and so on. So it's only a very, very, very tiny part which uh, is used. However, there's tetrabytes of data available. And uh, that, of course, um, um, must result in balancing because you put at risk millions of people in order to be able to solve perhaps a couple of cases. Small number of cases. And then we have to look at what cases are in that. I mean, uh, the introduction of mandatory telecommunication retention was justified with uh, serious crime, organized crime, transnational crime, terrorist violence. And then looking at what cases are, uh, in, in what cases that is used, you can probably imagine that. It's average crime. Here a robbery, there a theft of a cell phone, which can be uh, located because <laughs> there's location data available. Child pornography. I mean, there's everywhere you have these people who download uh, these pictures. Yeah? And then you, you, you have a case with uh, 200, 2,000 suspects. But what that um, in Germany for the possession of child pornography or downloading, it will be either the case will be dismissed because it's not considered to be very serious or there will be a small fine. And it's nothing like serious cases. We tried uh, in a, um, um, we had a, a certain conflict, it was two years ago. Uh, two years ago, the um, uh, federal um, agency of uh, Bundeskriminalamt, federal criminal criminal uh, criminal police office, um, they tried to collect cases, serious cases, murder cases, for which they argued retained data had been uh, necessary to resolve uh, the case and to bring offender suspects to justice. So they um, presented uh, seven cases, murder cases, for the whole of Germany. That doesn't sound m many, but for Germany it's a, it's a lot. It's a, and I, um, um, I investigated each case. So in all of these cases, it was possible to bring the suspect to justice within less of one year without the use of uh, com telecommunication data. I'm not sure why uh, the federal um, uh, criminal uh, police office uh, chose these cases, but it was evident that uh, telecommunication traffic data did not play a role. There was one case, it was a high profile case, uh, was a police officer murdered um, close to his place, uh, his place of living. And um, immediately after the, um, uh, the murder, uh, police, it was uh, two or three hours later, police, of course, they um, um, called all telecommunication companies in the area and uh, requested retention of all the data. That is possible. And this, uh, that has to do with retention, general retention. Uh, what came out of it, what, what was the result of that? Nothing. It was, it was they, they ultimately then uh, saw that there was two people, and possibly suspects, who had been uh, in the area. And they, um, they had other evidence uh, which uh, connected these people to the, um, uh, to the murder, but um, a judge, an investigating judge, uh, said, decided there's not enough evidence, uh, and so we don't, 
uh, we cannot uh, go on with the case. So um, even in, in this small, a small number of very serious criminal cases, there was no real um, practical value of uh, 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 the telecommunication data. And there's still another problem, which we should not forget. Uh, police uh, sometimes are, in a way, um, seduced into uh, relying too heavily on technological aspects of policing. Although we know that uh, these kind of technologies of uh, using uh, surveillance techniques and, and uh, uh, data, uh, this, uh, the, the data mining, which is a retain data are mined, and, uh, that that might uh, result in uh, serious problems. And of course we have not only cases which have been resolved by using retained data or uh, um, uh, traffic data in general, but we have also cases, and quite some cases, where um, the retained data or traffic data resulted in uh, investigating and prosecuting the wrong people. No? Because these had been close to the uh, close to the place of uh, where the cr criminal offence had been committed, that sometimes might lead in the wrong direction. Um, there's, uh, of course, then something. I'm not sure whether there is a discussion in Brazil that has been discussed. So it's discussed in in, in Germany with uh, uh, telecommunication traffic data. You get usually also location data and location geographical data. So you know, in a certain area. You can see these and these cell phones are active, and with that you can identify who was uh, in a certain area. Now, um, that might also result in um, the que in, 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 in uh, meaningful data, because if, for example, a serious robbery has been committed. Uh, in a certain, at a certain location, a certain time, police can identify who was in the vicinity. Yeah. And uh, as most criminal offenders, they are like you and me, they use cell phones. Yeah. And that is kind of a, a strategy which is uh, followed by, I think, many police forces. First, if you don't have uh, a clear information on who could be a suspect, then you look who was in the area. And that might result in, for example, a couple of hundred people suddenly under the suspicion, under the principle a suspicion of being linked to that robbery you know, or to a murder. And uh, that is kind of uh, um, also a question which has to be decided uh, because it's not uh, nice to uh, to be visited by police and police asks you look uh, we know you've been in this location what did you do uh, there have you possibly been to this uh, this uh, shop and uh, uh, so it's a uh, hundred people or uh, in a certain location might be a thousand people or two thousand um, and there must be also balancing and weighing uh, should that be, uh, in fact, a uh, um, investigation st a strategy which uh, affects many people, but ultimately results perhaps in clearing up a robbery or um, uh, uh, assault or whatever? 